Welcome back to another episode of our vlog or food vlog here in Sydney. Right now you can see that I am in a pretty dark space and it's really crowded because I am inside a really famous Italian restaurant here called Toddy's or specifically Bar Toddy's. We are in the one that is located in New Wynyard Station and it's only 5pm here but it's getting really crowded and packed. It's so soft and tender, pretty much melts in your mouth. Okay, so they have this like puffy bread. That's what they're really known for here at Bartotti's. It's almost wood like bread. wood fire bread. So it's cooked in a wood fire oven. Chicken liver parfait. Mmm, that's really good. It's very flavorful. Yeah. That burrata, it's like so creamy. It's got a bit of pepper and a lot of olive oil with it. Wow, so creamy, a little bit salty, very very smooth from the olive oil. One dish that we've never tried here before is the melon, so let's try that out today. I don't think it's anything special, it's literally got like some black pepper on it I think. And olive oil again, like everything here has olive oil, but it just tastes so good. Mm. It's very light and refreshing, it helps like cleanse your palate throughout every single dish. Our first pasta dish just arrived. This is a pappardelle with lamb ragu and the sauce just sticks so well to the pasta. That's why it's that. The noodles nice and chewy. It's like really meaty but also like it's got a sprinkle of parmesan on top. All right, I'm gonna try the crab pasta. This is actually our first time trying this one. It's a tomato-based pasta and it looks really nice. It looks like it's a wrink wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly cut. <laughs> the sauce is sticking onto the pasta really well. It's coated every strand of pasta and it also has tomatoes here. I see cherry tomatoes. Ah. Interesting. All right, so now we just finished dinner at Tutty's and we're heading to dessert. Of course, there's always stomach for dessert. Now we're gonna head to a place called O Matcha to get their matcha ice cream. They recently came up with a very strong matcha. So it's like pure, you know, a little bit bitter matcha. Yeah. Wow, this looks amazing. Strong matcha soft serve. Wow, very strong. Oh, it's good. Very, very strong matcha flavor. It's not that bitter. Really delicious, really, really strong matcha flavor. If you guys like matcha, this is like a strong, strong hit of matcha. Kind of like an espresso shot, mm. full of matcha. Okay, so we thought we were just gonna go home with our matcha ice cream, but we actually ended up walking by Machi Machi, which is a milk tea shop opened by Jay Chow. Yes, the famous singer-songwriter Jay Chow. There is quite a line, actually. We've got this one. The reason why I'm so excited right now is because we're about to go to Coles. I discovered something new that's in Coles supermarket and it's called scone loaf. I'm so excited. I think it's like scones in the shape of like toast. So cold. Feels like I'm naked. Okay, let's see what the temperature is. 11 uh -huh. degrees. I would have guessed it would have been in this aisle, but... Oh no, scone loaf is all gone! That is so sad! No! I have crumpets though, but that's not really what I want. 
So unfortunately, as you saw, there were no more scone toasts left and I checked both Coles and Woolies and so it makes me think maybe it went really viral and everyone bought it or they haven't restocked it yet. However, I did not leave Coles empty-handed. So they're doing like a promotion right now. So I got the Golden Bakery Crumpets. These are around $2. I'm not usually like a crumpet person, but I thought I'd give it a go again. And I also got these really cute Golden Bakery Picklets. Crunchy, honey, vanilla. <laughs> Good description. It's like a deconstructed dessert. Spoon. Oat latte, PBJ. These are my new nails. I got them from glowy.co and they look absolutely beautiful. It didn't take too long to put on and I love how easy it is to put on and remove as well. Today I'm actually going to be baking because it is a lovely Saturday. However, it is pouring outside today, non-stop rain for the whole weekend. I thought I'll take this opportunity to stay at home and bake. There's this one dessert that I really want to try and it's called Madeleine's. They are French dessert and it's kind of like a really soft airy cake. The first time I had Madeleine's was at a fine dining restaurant in Sydney and then I also tried one from a Korean cafe and it was pretty good as well. And yeah, I'm going to attempt to make them today. They're pretty much like a light airy lemony sweet, like a little cake that looks like a shell. I'm very excited. And here is the baking tray. How cute is this? They're like little shells and I just cannot wait to put the batter in this and see what it looks like. I got this pan on Amazon, so if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down below. We're making a pancetta and leek risotto with wagyu steak. This is our leek here for tonight. This looks amazing. It smells so fragrant. We've got a Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh, from New Zealand. This one smells really fragrant. It's Very floral. Floral, and it's sweet as well. i 
tiramisu done for now. I mean, the layers are not exactly most perfect, but it's okay, it's rustic, it's homemade. See you in a few hours. Because this is from Woolies, eh? Hello. Oh wow, let's see, let's drill that. Whoa, that looks so good. And he's got his like fancy salt. This is a dinner table spread. Wow, that's a risotto and steak. That's amazing. Thank you so much. This took a long time to make, but it looks so simple. Cheers. Cheers. As usual, it tastes amazing. Let's try a steak. Ooh. I mean, it's not perfect yet, but it's something. The whole house is smelling like beef. It's quite stinky, so we're gonna light one of our favorite candles. This is a new one that we got recently. The flavor is pear and lime. 